How to set sales prices to products and variants 2022. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another Shopify tutorial and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can add your very own sale prices to your products and your variants in Shopify. It's going to be very easy and very simple. I'm going to show you how you can add it to uh, a single product or a variant and I'm going to also show you how you can add it to multiple products and variants. I'm going to show you how to do it in the quickest, easiest and the most effective way possible. So just watch the whole video, uh, sit back, relax, watch it till the end and listen to my instructions carefully. And I guarantee you that by the end of this video, you're going to properly know how to add sale prices to your products in Shopify. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, what you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to go to your Shopify. Now, once you're at your Shopify, you're going to click on Shopify.com. Now, once you're in your Shopify.com, you're going to click on login. Now, once you click on login, it's going to bring you to your Shopify stores. You're going to uh, create another store, click on any, go on your active stores. Now, once you're at your active store or the store you have your products in. So first of all, you're going to want to do is go to your products. Now, once you're at your products, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go on any single one of these. So let's say uh, I'm going to go on these jackets. Now, once I'm on these jackets, I'm just going to wait for it to load up really quick. OK, so here we can see our jacket products just loaded up. Now, obviously, we're going to go here and he, these are the variants. And in all these variants, these are the prices. Now, obviously, you can see that these prices have different quantities. Now, uh, you can either go in those quantities or you can just change it overall now if you want to change it from the quantities what you're going to want to do is you're going to select any of the products now if you want to select a single product just click on a single variant and once you select it you're going to go on more actions and you're going to click on edit price now once you click on edit price what you're going to want to do is here it says apply a price to all the selected variants now, obviously, we don't just want to go ahead and apply a price. What do we want to do? We want to add a sales price to it. Now, to do that, you're going to click on Open Bulk Editor. Now, once you click on Open Bulk Editor, over here, you can see there's a normal price and then there's the compare at price. Now, you must uh, have seen in stores where there's a price written, but it's crossed off and then there's a new price written on the side so that's what happens when they want to show a sale so that is was compare at prices so let's say the compare at price is nine hundred dollars and the sale price is six hundred dollars so what they're going to show is 900 with a cut in front of it and it's going to show 600 beside of it, which basically shows that the product is at a $300 sale. So, yeah, that is basically how you do it for a single item and to do it for multiple items. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it at multiple. Now, to do multiple, all you need to do is you're going to click on this tick to select all or select any number of items you want. Again, you're going to click on open bulk editor. And once you click on that, all you're going to need to do is select all the products that you want to change the price of. You're going to go up here and you're going to change the price. Let's say I want to keep all of them 900. Now, once I've kept that, I'm going to go to compare price, select it to the compare price I want to keep and then just change the compare price to $1,200. This is going to do is it's going to show this sale price for all these variants. And obviously, once you save it and you go to your Shopify store and you preview these products, you're going to see your sale perfectly shown. Now, obviously, to see a proper outcome, you're going to need to have a fully set up store with a proper outlook. So uh, let's say I go on online store right now. And you're going to be able to see that I don't really have a lot of products right now. So let's go and block posts. And once you go on block posts, what you're going to need to do is you can either add it from block posts or you can just put these orders directly into the uh, items you add on your, um, let's say, if you go on pages or you use some type of editor, you can add your post through that. 
And once you've added those, you can obviously customize the sale uh, prices. You can change the wordings. You can change the color. That all obviously depends on your editor. But after you've done that and you're satisfied with how your sale prices look, you can obviously change the number the way I showed you just by going into products, selecting your products, going to your bulk editor. And after that, messing around with the prices as much as you want. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you uh, change all the prices uh, for uh, your uh, products and variants and how you show sale prices for all the products and variants. So yeah, that's basically about it. I hope you keep having a great day. I'm going to see you all next time. And that was all from me and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.